Let's go. Welcome to Octopus Deploy 4.1. This month, we're shipping Richard Java integration, and I'm excited to share it with you. We added first-class Java support in Octopus 3.17, but we've added a couple of new features to make Java deployments even better. We've added support for Maven repositories as external feeds, and also added the ability to deploy certificates to Java application servers. Both of these features enable teams building Java applications to better integrate their existing build processes with Octopus for a stronger delivery pipeline. Let's get started. I'd like to walk through a Java deployment to show off our richer Java integration. I have a local Octopus instance running, it's brand new, and I have a local Tomcat instance running locally, and it's also brand new. First up, I'm going to add a Maven repository so I can deploy an application from it. So I'm going to head over to the library and then external feeds. External feeds let you integrate with external package repositories. This now includes Maven repositories. So I'm going to go ahead and click add a feed. And the first thing I need to do is select the Maven feed type. Then I have to give it a name. In this case, I'm going to use Maven Central. And because I'm using the Central Maven repository, I can just go ahead and paste the appropriate URL. I don't need to do any more settings, so I can just save that. And I'm now good to go. Now I'm going to head over to Certificates. And if you've never seen the Octopus Certificate Management Support, it's really powerful. Octopus can securely store your certificates and they can be used in your deployments. Octopus can even send you notifications if they're about to expire. I'm going to add a certificate for use in my Java deployment. I'll give it a name, self-signed certificate. And I don't need any notes, but I will go ahead and upload the certificate and specify the password. Just click save. You can see that Octopus detected that it was a self-signed certificate and it even tells me that it expires in a month, which is really handy. Now I'm going to jump over to a new project called Tomcat website. This is a new project, but I haven't defined its deployment process or added any variables. The first thing that I'm going to do is add a variable for my certificate. I'm going to call it website certificate. And I'll just change the type to certificate, open the editor and select that. I'm going to scope that just to my dev environment because it's, uh, it's just a test certificate and I'll click save there. Now I'm going to jump over to my deployment process. Now I'm going to add a step to deploy a website. And I'm using Tomcat, so I'm just going to filter for those steps and select the Deploy to Tomcat via Manager step. Now, I'll give it a name called Deploy War from Maven. And I want to deploy to all my servers with the Tomcat role. Now, my package, I'm going to select the Maven package feed. And now I'll copy and paste a package name. And this is just a material design demo, just a nice, simple website. Now I'll fill in my Tomcat server details and it's local, so that's fine. And I'll just specify my admin user and password. And I'm also just gonna set the context path to demo app and click save. Now I'm gonna head back to my deployment process and add another step to deploy a certificate to Tomcat because I want my website to be secure. So I just add that step, I'll give it a name called deploy self sign certificate. And similar to the last step, I want it to run on all my Tomcat servers. I do need to specify the location of Tomcat. So I'll just copy and paste that. It's slash, slash opt slash Tomcat. I'll specify the certificate variable that I'm using. We already set that up and I'll just select the appropriate type of uh, uh, SSL implementation. In this case, I'm just going to use the port 
8443, and I don't need to specify any other settings. There are advanced settings that you can re review if you need, but in this case, I'm just gonna click save. Now there's one final step that I need to add, and it's just a simple script to restart Tomcat. And again, it's going to be run on the Tomcat servers, and it's a very simple bash script. And so again, I'm just going to copy paste that just to restart Tomcat. And that's all I need to do. Now that my deployment process is done, I'm going to go ahead and create a release. It's my first deployment, so I'll go with the default version. I'll save that. And I'm going to deploy to my development environment. Now that that's successfully completed, I'm gonna go over back to Tomcat and I'll just go to the manager, put in my username and password, and I can now see that my demo app is there. And so I can see that looks great, but I did deploy it with the certificate. So if I go to HTTPS 8443, you can see it's successful as well. If I open up Chrome's developer tools and on the security tab, if I go view certificate, I can just quickly see that my certificate was successfully installed and the deployment was successful. Octopus 4.1 has added support from Maven repositories as an external package feed and added support to include certificates in your Java deployments. Both of these features bring richer integration to Octopus's existing first-class Java support. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to try something mentioned in this video, head over to octopus.com/downloads and grab the latest release. See you next month and happy deployments.